So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a song that isn't um, possibly mappable at the moment for remix decks and I'm just going to turn it into something I can work with. So for those of you who have not used Ableton before or anything like that, this can be useful, but I'm literally going to take a song which I bought and I'm going to drop it into my audio. What we need to do is find out the tempo. 161 beats per minute. Okay, we can mix that into some jungle, but let's start with that. And then what we need to do is we need to warp this. So what I'm going to be doing is just setting up a warp in here. Uh, for those of you who didn't know how to do this, this is a really cool thing, and I use Ableton all the time for this. And we want to um, get really into the waveform. We don't need to worry about any of this section here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be zooming in here. And we want to take it to here. Now, I want to listen to it quickly. I might be able to cut that bit off there. So, yeah, there's no reason for that pickup. Doom, doom. We can start bang on the one there. We'll set to one to one there. So this will be our ones. And we're also going to warp, but we're going to warp uh, straight. All right, so we're going to do this. Now it's the laborious task of going through it with a metronome and turning it into the finished product. Do do dun, do do dun. So that dung is going to be, and be careful where these warp markers are because that's not bang on the one. So we can double click that and then move that there. And it anchors from the left. Do do dun, one. So we're going to do it roughly, then we can fine tune it. And we don't want to move it too much because it will sound a bit strange. And I'm not worried too much about the half beats. This is how long it takes because I'm on bar two already and it's going to take a while. Um, these, when I'm doing a remix set in Tractor, we want these to be on. Otherwise, when you put it with a bass drum, they're going to be slightly off. So I am going to tidy all these up. And because we're going to be doing it in remix sets in tractor they're all on loops and therefore the the longer the loop goes on against something else the worse it's going to get the more out of time so we need this to be on it so if they decide to loop it for three hours it's still going to be in time so so far <laughs> So I'm happy with that. Yes, there are slight glitches as in the software pushes and pulls, but there is not a lot I can do about that. The main thing is, is in time and it's going to be used with other things. What I'll do is I'll do a bit more and then I'll show you what happens with it afterwards. I could just cut this now knowing it's 100% accurate because I've warped it and I can just do command E and I can highlight this. And I can either put it in a loop, but I'm not going to bother with that. What I'm actually going to do is export. And I'll export uh, the selected track only. And I will keep it at bit 24, 48,000. And I will encode PCM, which is what we want. And then we can export. So what I can do there is drag that to here. Put that into a normal track deck. Make it. Well, I don't have to do that at the moment. I can do 161. 161. Okay. And I'm going to do 161 here so it's all nice and neat. And I'm going to sync it. 
Now, if you look at the transients here now, get rid of that, they should all be spot on. And then we can go back to one and loop it and listen to it. Okay, interesting. So we've got an intro there that we want doom 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 doom. So one of these is have to, gonna have to be cut off. The problem is we've got a nice even four bars. So all we need to do, not a problem. I'm just gonna leap loop two of them. Now, that's the bit I'm listening for, why that isn't coming round properly. So you see that? There's a little gap there. So I'm going to go back to... I'm going to delete that, make sure my snap is off, and I'm going to press 1 there, then change that to grid. Then I'm going to go all the way to the end. Okay. Yes. Right, so we go to one loop. It's a little tick there, but shouldn't be too bad. Now what I can do is change the remix decks to 161 because that's what um, this is. Sync this bad boy. Then I can drag this over the top. Now, let's find out if that's going to be nice. Anyone ask for new order drum and bass? And I can turn it up. That essentially works. We could try it with a four and a four bass drum, but that loop keeps its own now to something that is um, doable. And again, if we just... Um, that let's just i know that that's accurately mapped uh beat gridded so we can just take a drag that over and we're just seeing if it goes out of time so i'm happy with that so this person wants a remix deck obviously they're going to want new orders beginning part so if we take it from here and we slice it again, edit that, highlight, and then I'm going to do the same where I just take this and eventually what I will do is I'll make a pack for the person as well. So I won't just give them the remix deck, but I'll give them the samples as well. So here. Oh yeah, a bit of country and western. So that sounds all right, but we need to put that with something we've already worked on. So same guitars going on yeah happy with that and we can move things around and stuff that's not a problem we can do whatever we need to do so we really need to slice it up like that um and i could do that if i went through all of the 200 odd bars but because it's gonna be sliced up into phrasing anyway you don't really need to do that you can skip parts so with this one here, again. See, the thing is, this has a fill. And you wouldn't really want that, really want that in a remix deck. You'd probably want... You'd probably want it there. So again, we'll slice that. And the good thing is, is now we can check these are all on point. 
And again, let's do that. 161, they've got it right this time. Now I'm just going to check that gap. So I'm just going to drag that out here. And again... So you can see they're all in time now, and that means the client can use it however they want. I, you know, anything over anything. Quite like that, all. I'm just going to do something a bit silly here. So this is something else you can do and have a bit of fun. I do think. <laughs> now this one here i'm just literally going to do an in and out manual so get rid of snap actually i can use it for the first one in and then i'll just go take snap off let me just take that out there, put that there, change that to one. Yeah. Got to add something in, haven't we? When you are making a remix set, Make sure all of these have been played three times. So there's your verse two now. Uh, so we've got, have we got synth intro solo? Yes, verse one we don't have. This is essential because otherwise they don't save. They have to go into your samples because when you click save here, it's not going to. If we turn that, so we've got no guitar effects. So what we need to do is to put that into a loop. There we go. Weird, hey? That you have to have it in a loop to go down there. Right, I've got to go off and teach. Um, thank you all for joining me. That's very kind of you. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a nice time. Remember, stay safe. If you're in the UK, we're locked down on Thursday, so please be sensible and look after yourselves and others. And I will see you again, okay? So thank you very much. Thank you all, in fact. And I'll see you soon.